Barnwell of ESPN um, put together a, a list ranking quarterbacks' landing spots, uh, the most quarterback needy NFL teams. Mm-hmm. So number one is the Giants. Uh, I'm sorry, the Giants. Number one is the 49ers. That makes sense. And that makes sense. And that, I, yeah. I would say a quarterback would really want to go there. Yes. Right? They're they're ready made. They got they they have the defense. They have the weapons ready made. Number two, the Las Vegas Raiders. Number three, the Atlanta Falcons. Wait. Number four, the Seattle Seahawks. Number five, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. With Tom Brady, they couldn't finish over 500. And number six, the New Orleans Saints. The Jets aren't in the top six. But this list is ridiculous. So, I mean, we can look at this. Quarterback needy teams. Well, I, I mean... The most quarterback needy team in football is the Jets. Right. So then, if it's then if we judge this list as well, where would quarterbacks really want to go? That that's a different story. But in terms of the most quarterback needy team, the Jets don't have a quarterback. Now you look at attractiveness, Michael. Why would why would the Jets be that? Why would the Falcons be more attractive than the Jets? I don't get Explain it. that to me. I can't. I mean, uh, the only thing would be, and I think uh, we can punch it up, Michael. They probably have a list of reasons why positive and negative the one positive i can think of with the falcons it's a winnable division same thing with the buccaneers like i don't know if the jets have aaron Rodgers. they're a lock to win their division buffalo's still good josh allen's still good where i think if you put Rodgers in atlanta you put Rodgers in tennessee those divisions are you will win those divisions <clears throat> but Tom Brady, you can make the case, Michael, Tom Brady retired because he didn't want to go back to Tampa because it's not an attractive place to play. And they don't have a quarterback. So how, if it's just quarterback needy, well, how could they not be more than th- fifth, right? And why is Seattle needy? Geno Smith's going to get votes for MVP. He's a free agent, though, so maybe the thought is he might not sign there. He'd be nuts if he left. Honestly, nuts. That's the perfect place for him. Yeah, it's a little odd, and I, I, I've always, I, I've always, like, kind of sat back on this, where the Jets are a quarterback away. I don't know. I don't know if they're a quarterback. Even if Aaron Rodgers came here, are they? You know, we were talking off the air, Don. They might not even win their division. So does Aaron Rodgers want to go someplace where he's going to have to be a wild card team, and then well, just not to, even play a home game in the playoffs? Just to, to clarify, Barnwell's basically clarified that what he's saying is it, what teams are most appealing in the eyes of a prospective quarterback. Well, then that still doesn't make sense. W- but but I think it goes well beyond whether or not they have pieces and includes the whole thing organizationally. Because my commies were nowhere to be found, and they're they're much better football-wise than some of the people on that list. Right, so but who wants to play for Dan Snyder? The 11th team is the Titans. The 10th team is the Panthers. The 9th team is the Commanders. The eighth team is the Giants, and the seventh team is the Jets. The um, the pros for the Jets: excellent defense, promising young playmakers. Cons: questions along offensive line, playmakers, offensive coordinator, commitment to the current starter. I don't get that. All right, offensive line, I get, but you just said promising young playmakers, and now you're putting playmakers as a con. Offensive coordinator, you don't you don't like what what they've done. So he, I guess he doesn't like Hackett. Commitment to the current starter. Well, they'll have all the commitment in the world to Aaron Rodgers. So do you un, do you understand? Outside of the questions with the offensive line, any of those cons that Barnwell said. You know, sometimes Don and Peter, the way an organization is perceived from the outside. Whether it's true or not is is the perception well, of the organization. The Jets are kind of not looked at as a well-run organization. May, who, maybe they maybe t- a player doesn't want to join them. Right. All right, then list that. Let's say you know history of, of, of failures at quarterback. You know, if you want to say Robert Sala is a defensive head coach, uh, but offensive coordinator uh, is anybody is is Hackett that bad? I know he wasn't a great head coach. And I don't get the commitment to current starter. Yeah, the Jets have no commitment to Zach Wilson. Oh, but 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 do they have no commitment to Zach Wilson for a reason. 
right? Zach Wilson wasn't very good. Now, if you want to blame LaFleur for that, fine. LaFleur's gone. Now you brought in Nathaniel Hackett. You've changed the offensive coordinator. The weapons are going to be a year older. I, I, I really think there's a bias. And listen, I'm not a Jet fan. You know, so this isn't coming from the heart. It's just coming from being around the team for 20 years is that it's just easy. If you're trying to make predictions, Michael, about wh what, who's going to fail, who's not going to work out, you know, then, then pick that it's going to fail for the Jets because it always seems to. And the perception where the, that's where quarterbacks go to die, it's never going to work. But if you really look at the current team and you look at this roster, outside of the offensive line, which I think is a legitimate question mark, you, they don't have weapons. They have, Their defense is very good, and they they likely will have you – know, Garrett Wilson could win Offensive Rookie of the Year. You know, they, they're, they're, their running game is, is going to be outstanding next year. Everybody's going to come back healthy. You know, weapons galore. More weapons than, I think, a lot of these quarterbacks that are going to be leaving their current destiny, their, their most recent place have. Uh, I, I, I just think it's just easy to pick on the Jets because of their history. One bit of good news for Jet fans, well, that's two bits. Of the list, the six teams that are listed ahead of the Jets in terms of where a free agent quarterback would want to go, Five of the six are NFC teams. And if you believe right. what is being written about the Packers not trading to an NFC team, the only team that the Jets are going to have to worry about is the Raiders. And it's being reported today, Joe Douglas telling people around the NFL, Jets are all in, all in. That's good news. On Aaron Rodgers.